Hey guys, how's it going? So, I'm absolutely destroyed today. I did a 17 hour day yesterday. It was worth it, I'll tell you why in one second. Uh, but today, we're gonna be looking at probably one of the, if not the coolest short scale bass I've ever played. Um, I'm gonna be telling you how you can win it as well. I'm gonna be giving it away to one of you guys. Uh, it's gonna be a ton of fun. Still got my PJs on, look at these bad boys. Ow! I was recording a course yesterday for the uh, for Scott's Bass Lessons with uh, Gavin Harrison, who's one of the most phenomenal drummers on the planet. He plays with uh, Porcupine Tree, uh, King Crimson, he played with Incognito back in the day. I was down in his studio doing the thing and I actually did a vlog about the, the whole thing and then got back this morning, went to edit it and the file was corrupt on the card. So there you go, shit happens, got to deal with it. So I wish I could share that stuff with you guys but I can't. There's a ton of guys playing these. Uh, I've seen Tim LaFave playing them, uh, Chris Cheney's been doing some stuff with them. Both Tim and Chris are on the SBL podcast. Check that out if you haven't checked the podcast out already, guys. We do like a weekly podcast. I always forget to tell you guys about that. But Doug Wimbish, he plays them. We've had Doug on as well. So check out, can you see how small this is, the box? It's like a little guitar though, isn't it? You probably saw who it was there as well, Supro. And they look fantastic as well. But man, look at this, look at this. Can you see how cool that looks? What? Come on. Isn't the headstock's fantastic? Look at it. I'm gonna plug it in, obviously, guys. Um, the stuff that I love about it is the styling of the bass. Oh, the feel of the bass is like super, it's a baby bass, it's a short scale 30 inch bass, but it, you know, it's a, it's a rock solid piece of kit. Got a really, really nice bridge on it. Super cool pickups, can you see those? They're really, really cool. The unique gold foil pickups, these bad boys, found in the Huntington base are authentic replicas of the original clear tone pickups found in the vintage Supro Violin Taurus and pocket bass models. These high output single coils deliver legendary deep low end with very low noise and a massive broadband sound that stays warm and balanced across the entire range of the instrument. I wouldn't disagree with that, they do sound cool. It's made out of ash, one of the things that I, I don't particularly like about it is it's, it's a little heavy for me. It's on the heavy side, but um, I do love the sound of heavy, heavy ash basses. I used to have a killing 70s jazz bass, which was heavier than the sun. I ended up selling it because it was just too heavy, but man, it sounded good. This has got a set neck, which is absolutely beautiful. Sits in the hand um, and it's got this awesome matte black. I don't know if you can see how cool that neck is. It's really cool. Feels really nice. And then just, you know, four machine heads. But it's just super comfy as well. Can I drag you towards me? Oh, my wife would kill me if she could see me doing this. I'm so sorry, Lisa. This isn't through a sound card or anything, this is just the mic on my tiny little point and shoot. But hopefully you can get an idea of how fat that sound is. I also like these kind of sort of like, can you see these cool sort of like chamfers around here? Chamfers, is that what it's called? Kind of where they're just like routed around the edge. Kind of like it is on a jazz bass, so it's really easy to understand. You've got um, here is the here's the the bridge pick. I forgot how to speak. Come on, <laughs> 17 hour day yesterday. This volume here is the bridge pickup. This is the neck pickup. And 
then combined, just crank them both up. And then you've got the tone control as well, so that's the tone all the way up. All the way down. Super sick sounding bass. Um, so now I've told you everything I love about short scale basses, and particularly like this is like the coolest short scale bass I've played. Uh, I want to tell you what I don't like about them. And the first thing is my hands, like I've got big hands, they're just big hands. And for me, like when it gets down to a 30 inch like this. a little bit of a struggle sometimes but I'm gonna you know add a caveat to that or I think it's just it's not a mental block I think it's just I'd need to play a shorter scale 30 inch scale like this just for a longer period of time just to get used to it I think that's what it is I think there's just probably a little bit more of a learning or yeah a learning curve <laughs> Because, like, I can play guitar and that's, you know, a 24 inch scale or something like that. I know there's a difference between Les Pauls and Strats, but I can play a, a, a Strat fine or a Les Paul fine. It's just with bass, bass lines, I don't know, I'm just, I think it's just me, I think it's a personal thing where I'd probably just need to get used to it a little bit more and it'd be fine. That's the first thing about short scale basses that always trips me up. And then the second thing is when they hang on a strap, it always, again, they just kind of sort of like feel a little small. Let me see if I've got a strap. Hold it. Okay, so I don't have a strap. But anyway, so when, when I've got a short scale bass on a strap, it tends to, I don't know, it just tends to feel a little weird sometimes. And again, I think that's a personal thing that I'd probably need to just get used to because that nut is not where it normally is. And like moving to a 33 inch scale bass, you don't really feel it, but on a 30 inch scale bass, I feel it really badly. So I'd recommend when you're um, checking out short scale basses, get them on a strap and, and, you know, and just check them out and make sure that it's not gonna to be too much of a, uh, too weird for you, or at least understand that there will be a learning curve there um, until you get used to it. But this, the, the actual peg here is just like, it's almost at the 12th fret and when I had it on the strap yesterday, although it did feel weird, it balanced really great. And I think that's partly due to the heavy, the heavy body as well. What model is this? It is, Hold it, hang on. Okay, I've figured it out. It's, a, well, I've kind of figured it out. It's a Supro Huntington. I'm not sure whether it's a Huntington 1 or Huntington 2. I imagine it's a Huntington 2 because it's got two pickups. Anyway, I expect you want to know how you're going to win this, right? And it's open to anybody in the world, wherever you are. We even sell, I think we sent a base to Fiji a few months ago. Anyway, so to win this guys to enter this competition i want you to subscribe to our youtube channel you can do that down below okay and then in the comments i want you to write supro supro base okay supro base dot 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 and then tell me what your favorite vintage style base is okay put supro base dot 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 and then tell me what your favorite vintage style instrument is because this you know it's a vintage style instrument tell me what your, your favorite instrument is vintage style instrument bass obviously in the comments and uh, and then just subscribe to the youtube channel and you will be automatically entered in uh, in this competition to win this bad boy before you go i should also let you know that we've just released a badass new course into the course library at scott's bass essence from the one and only adam neely i know a lot of you guys follow Adam already. He's done a fantastic course for you guys if you're already an Academy member. I'll put the trailer um, just in a minute so you can check it out and see what the course is all about. Uh, Adam had a fantastic drummer in the studio as well, so we caught those guys playing together. And if you want, just go to scottsbassessence.com. You can take a 14 day free trial. That gets you access to all of our courses. 
and all of the live streams and all and, and all of me as well you know we do uh, i do sort of like uh, direct video feedback and all those shenanigans for the members as well so if you want to be a part of the uh, the coolest online school for bass players just like you go to scottsbassessence.com and check it out now other than that take it easy and i'll see you in the shed here's adam doing his thing The kinds of bass players that would benefit from this course are bass players who are interested in music theory and also are interested in understanding the inner workings of how music might work. It's often a roadblock, I feel like, a lot of times with people who keep, who feel like they're learning a lot of theory, who feel like they're learning all the stuff that they need to, but they feel like they don't quite connect with it. There's not the sort of immediate interest in the material. There's, it kind of feels like the, it's all this dry, boring stuff that might relate to the music that they're playing, and it's fine, and they understand it, but they don't get excited about it. And I'm trying with this course to get people excited with some musical theory concepts that might, you know, not be what you typically will hear in a given bass course. The thing that I like to try and do with people is try and get people excited about music theory. Try and get people excited about the things in music that might be a little bit too dry as the way that they're generally taught, but might get people excited anyway to learn that stuff and understand why we do the things that we do. Hey, my name is Adam Neely, and if you want to take your musical knowledge and your playing to the next level, this course is for you.